Good morning my travel industry friends, especially those undertaking the resilience quest at the moment. Um, just for a bit of fun with the cold shower thing, I'm going to periodic release some uh, cold shower stoicism. One of my favourite books that I've read over the uh, past couple of years and more recently again has been The Daily Stoic, which takes a stoic quote every day and then it sort of gives a bit of a modern day explanation. So I bring to you the first in the cold shower stoic series. Oh, nothing to fear but fear itself. But there is no reason to live and no limit to our miseries if we let our fears predominate. And that's by Seneca. And in the early days of what would become known as the Great Depression, a new president named Franklin Roosevelt was sworn in and gave his first inaugural address. As the last president sold office before the 20th Amendment was ratified. FDR was able to take off since March, meaning the country had been without strong leadership for months. Panic was in the air, banks were failing and people were scared. You've probably heard of nothing to fear the spirit itself, soundbite, and FDR gave him that famous speech. But the full line is worth reading because it applies to many difficult things we face in life. Let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror which paralyzes needed efforts to convert retreat into advance. And the Stokes knew that fear was to be feared because of the miseries it creates. The things we fear pale in comparison to the damage we do to ourselves and others when we unthinkingly scramble to avoid them. In economic depression, it's bad. Panic is worse. A tough situation helped by terror, it only makes things harder. And that's why we must resist it and reject it if we wish to turn this situation around. Woo! Oh, and keep up with the cold showers, because they work.